Definitely a story we'll continue to follow. Thanks, Shante. Later today, a panel of three Nebraska judges will hear arguments in the sentencing of Anthony Garcia. There is no doubt he killed four people as revenge for Creighton University firing him from the pathology department back in 2001. The question, though, will he get the death penalty? Here's anchor Craig Negrelli with what we know so far about this case. The killing spree began more than a decade ago when Garcia stabbed Thomas Hunter and Shirley Sherman in Dundee in 2008. Thomas Hunter was the son of Garcia's former boss at Creighton. Those murders went unsolved for years. Then, in the spring of 2013, Garcia returned from Indiana. He went to the West Omaha home of Dr. Roger and Mary Brumbach. He stabbed and killed them, also shooting Roger. He was Garcia's other boss at Creighton. Four murders in five years. This time, police, as part of a special task force, were able to pinpoint Garcia as the man with the motive and means to carry out the murders. They tracked him down in Illinois in July of 2013 after he left his home in Indiana. From there, a boondoggle of court activity. In 2014, a judge ordered a mental evaluation to see if Garcia was competent to stand trial. In 2015, the judge determined he was. Delays followed for more than a year as Garcia's Chicago lawyers tussled with the prosecution, even claiming at one point they had evidence that somebody else committed two of the killings. Finally, in the fall of 2016, a trial. After 16 days of testimony, a jury found Garcia guilty of all four murders in what some now refer to as the Creighton killings. That was anchor Craig Negrelli reporting the Nebraska Commission on Public Advocacy is now representing Anthony Garcia in trying to keep him from death row. A decision could take a month or so. We will have more coverage on today's hearing in later editions of 3 News Now. You can also learn more about this case by heading to 3newsnow.com.